In this tutorial, we'll go through the processing workflow, including reflectance calibration for MicaSense sensors in Agisoft Metashape Professional 1.5. The first step is to add the photos. Images from MicaSense Red Edge MX, Red Edge M, Red Edge, and Altum can be loaded all at once for all bands. There are a couple of ways to do this. One is to open the workflow menu and choose the Add Photos option. The second way would be to drag and drop each folder of images under the workflow tree. If the images are stored in multiple folders, the same operation should be repeated for each folder. Select Multi-Camera System from the Add Photos dialog box. Please include the reflectance calibration images as well. Metashape Pro can automatically detect the calibration images if the metadata indicates that the images are for calibration. The images will be disabled automatically so that they're not used in the actual processed results. The next step would be to locate the reflectance panels. Open the Tools menu and choose Calibrate Reflectance. Press the Locate Panels button. Panel images will be moved to a separate folder and masks will be applied to cover everything on the images except for the calibrated region. If the panels are not located automatically, there is a manual approach available. If you're using the panel for the first time and the calibration file is not already in the Metashape Pro database, you'll be prompted to load the calibration from a CSV file. You can obtain the CSV file by going to micasense.com prv and inputting your calibrated reflectance panel's serial number, which is printed on the panel itself, and should also appear in the images that you've taken. Press the Select Panel button and open the panel you downloaded. If you do not have a CSV file, you can input the calibration values manually. In order to determine whether or not to use the reflectance panels, the sun sensor, or both, it's important to note the weather conditions at the time of the flight. Here at MicaSense, we'd recommend that if it was completely sunny, that you just use the reflectance panels and ignore the sun sensor data. If it was an overcast day, we'd recommend using both the reflectance panels and the sun sensor. Press OK to confirm the calibration options. And now we'll set up a batch process. Each of these processes can be done on their own, but since each take a long time to complete, it is best to line them up in a batch process. The first step is to align the photos. Next, generate a dense point cloud. and then build the digital elevation model. For best results, we recommend inputting the projection. We recommend selecting the UTM zone for your region. In the case of Seattle, it's UTM zone 10 north. Then finally, we'll add the build orthomosaic process. Again, choosing the same projection. And now we're ready to run the batch process. It should take a while. Once it's completed, you'll be able to review the orthomosaic and DEM, as well as run index calculations on them and other analysis. We hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please contact support at micasense.com.